Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you. I upload every Monday. Um, today's video is a haul for you guys and it's not just any other haul. It's a puppy haul. We are actually getting a new puppy this Friday um, and I am so excited. We've been collecting, we knew we were getting this puppy about, we waited four weeks ago I believe. Yeah, four weeks because we met him when he was four weeks old and we get to pick him up when he's eight weeks old. So, um, and in that time frame, we've been buying him some things when he comes home, so we have everything ready. Um, excuse my background, I'm sitting on the floor of my living room. My kids are, uh, one of them is sleeping upstairs, the other one is having a quiet time, so I figured I'll go ahead and record this haul quick for you guys. The first thing we got him is food. We actually got him the food by Life Abundance and it's a large breed puppy food. Um, it's a high quality food, it has no corn, no wheat, and no artificial flavor or coloring. Um, that food was actually recommended by our breeder and we did our own research on the company as well and we fell in love with the company. It, they do not sell the food in big box stores, like they don't sell it at Target or Walmart or Petco or anywhere you go. They're online only retail and that's how you get their food, they'll uh, ship it to you monthly to your door. And we did research on them and we fell in love and that's the food we got him. The other thing that was recommended by our breeder was some supplements for the dog and we got him a wellness food supplement. And this you're supposed to give him, I believe like a, for his weight, when we pick him up, it's gonna be half a tablet per day. And she said she already started uh, the puppies on that. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on that as well. Next thing I got him are some um, treats. Some treats by a wild buffalo. And then full moon chicken nuggets. And then 100% hu uh, human grain. So it's made in the United States, all natural human grade ingredients, which means you can eat it. Uh, not that I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, but if you wanted to, you can probably eat it. And then last of the food items, I got him uh, some puppy teething rings. And this I got um, is a pumpkin flavor. And pumpkin is supposed to be really good for dogs from what I've heard. And um, so I got them that. When you get a puppy, um, they're going to be teething for <laughs> probably a good year. So it's good to have something for them to chew on. So that way they don't start chewing on your furniture, your shoes and all that stuff. And then the next thing we got him, I got, well, this is more for me than him, but I got this little basket to put all of his toys in. And I got this from Marshalls for $6.99. A lot of this stuff I either got from Marshalls or Amazon. And if you guys getting a puppy, or if you already have a puppy and you wanna buy him stuff, or a dog, and if you wanna buy him stuff, Go to Marshalls, go to TJ Maxx, go to um, Home Goods, I believe is the other one. Go to Home Goods. Um, they have tons and tons of dog stuff, and it's all like way cheaper than if you go to like Petco or PetSmart or Target, all those places. The next thing is a mat to put his dishes on, and this is from Marshalls as well. And this was $4.99. So. I got him that and the dishes. We got him the dishes. We got him one for food that says Saber on it, and then one for water that says Wolf on it. And these are large, and I paid $7.99 for each of them. And these are like heavy duty uh, bowls. Next thing we got him is a little bunny. His ears squeak, crinkle, and his tummy squeaks. And my kids picked this one out. And then we also got him a little um, turtle thing. And this is all from Marshalls. 
and this turtle has like a squeaky stew. Once he starts ripping uh, toys apart, I probably won't buy him anything with squeaky squeakers in them because I've heard some pretty bad stories about dogs eating squeakers. So if you get a toy with a squeaker, watch your dog. If he starts ripping them up, then just take the squeaker out. Puppy chewing ring, and this is by Nylon Bone. And this is just a cute little dinosaur. You can actually um, freeze this and it will relieve the pain from their teeth. And then another thing is this, I don't even know what this is. It's some um, little squeaker chewer thingy-majiggers. I don't know what that is, but he's cute. So we got him that, and it was only $1.99 from Marshalls. So, got him that. And then I also got him another chewer toy with a little rope on it. And this I got from Amazon. And last food item, uh, my mother-in-law actually got this for him. It's a Kong gyro. And it's, uh, you actually put, uh, you open this up. You put food in there. And then he will, has to like roll it and the food will come out of this hole. So it's just something fun for him to do and eat his food at the same time. So the next thing I got him is obviously a little leash uh, collar thing and it actually expands pretty big but this is a medium size so I know he's gonna outgrow this in no time so but this is what I got him for now and then once he gets bigger I actually like the pattern of it that's why I got it and once he gets bigger I'll just buy him the same thing in just a larger pattern and this is by bow and arrow and this I got from Amazon. I got him that. And then his name tag. It's This is actually from PetSmart, I believe. So it's just a cute little bone, black bone. And then in the back it has his name on it. His name is Duke. So, got that. And then I we also got him a little bed. I actually bought this bed about I want to say three weeks ago when we first found out we were having them because I went to Marshall's and they had all kinds of beds and I brought this home and my husband goes you realize he's gonna outgrow that right in like a week so I was like oh you're right so because it was so inexpensive I just uh, kept it for when he is little and he can play in it whatever and I went and got him actually bigger beds and I'll show you that at the end when I show you what candles we got him and then, like I mentioned before, our dog is um, a poodle and a Bernese mountain dog mix, so he's gonna have long, wavy coat. Uh, and when you get in a dog with a long, wavy coat, when you get in a dog with any coat, you should always groom them. But he's gonna require extra grooming, at least um, from what I read and what I researched, is that you should brush him at least once a day. So I got him some brushes and some combs. I got him this large pin brush. And this I got from Amazon. Um, it has a really nice rubbery grip, so I think your hand won't get tired. And this is for a large breed dog. I got him that, and then I got him the soft tooth slicker brush. And this is for the undercoat of it, and it's by the same company, um, Andes, I think how you say it. So I got him that, and then I also got him the steel comb. And it has wider tooth on the top and then closer one on the bottom. And I got them. So, and it's all by the same company, by the Andes, and that I got from Amazon. They were not in the set, but by the look of it, it looks like it should be a set because it has like the numbers on it, like the one, and then a two, and then a three. So, they should sell this as a set. I don't know why they didn't. And then I got him uh, shampoo. It's called Lavender Sweet Almond Organic Shampoo, and it's by the company Basics. And as you can see, and this was from Marshalls as well, and I paid $5.99 for that. And since he's gonna have, like I said, long coat, I got him a detangling spray, and it's by Biosilk. Like, 
I use bay silk for my hair, so who would have thought they made stuff for a dog? But it's funny, so I got him that. And then the last thing we got him is, um, we actually got him two candles. We have upstairs and downstairs where we usually hang out in. The one for upstairs is in our bedroom where he's gonna sleep at night, and then the one downstairs we put in, a laund uh, in our laundry, mudrooms, in our mudroom slash laundry room where he's gonna be if we're um, going somewhere for, like if we're going out somewhere, then he'll be in that kennel downstairs. And here's the duck kennel we got him. And it has a divider for when he is little. I'll show you, let's see if I can. So this is what it looks like. And I also got him bed. So I that was, and it has a divider. So for when he's little, you should only have enough room for him to turn around and lay down. So that way he doesn't have, uh, doesn't, decide to go potty on the other side of it. And this is what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any um, questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will answer them for you. We're so excited to meet Duke and I'm so excited to show you Duke. So stay tuned for that video coming up. Um, like I said, we pick him up on Friday. When you guys see this video, it'll be Monday, so we would, we're, we would already have them a couple days, but stay tuned for that video. Maybe it'll be a bonus video one week, uh, meet Duke video, but thank you again so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again. Bye, guys.